A lot of country music fans are raising a red solo cup to Toby Keith tonight. He died last night, surrounded by his family. The entertainer was diagnosed with stomach cancer in 2021, and while many of us were fans, one Huntsville man got to know him personally. Toby Keith became a country music star with the release of his 1993 album. It featured his first number one hit. I should have been a cowboy. Keith would release 28 albums. He charted 21 number one hits and sold more than 40 million albums. You give me a great idea and I'll write you a great song. Huntsville oncologist Dr. John Waples met Toby Keith through a mutual friend songwriter Bobby Pinson. Got this song in my head, but I don't want to tell you because I think you'll make fun of me. He goes, no, please tell me, Doc. And long story short, I told him, he goes, Doc, that's a hit. Waples wanted to give the song to Troy Gentry. And he said, no, that's a Toby hit. Toby will buy that song. Please let me give it to him. I said, yes. Pinson pitched it to the country singer and Keith called Waples two days later at work. He called me here at CCI. He said, uh, I want your song, what do you want for it? And I said, whatever, I just, I just want my name on the album. The country star sent him a contract the next day. Like 200 pages, and um, I asked Aaron Tippin, who's a friend of mine, and I said, hey, what do I do with this? Do I get a lawyer to review it? He goes, no, if Toby sent you a contract, you just sign it and send it back. The song, Every Dog Has Its Day. And it's my one claim to fame in country music was the third single released from the American Ride album in 2009. So it went to number 15 for about uh, 2.5 seconds. But it was still a hit. Toby Keith's family was with him when he died last night. On a social media post, they say he fought his fight with grace and courage. Toby Keith was 62.